been a little bit of a hiatus, but finally we're back to beer. Oh, yeah, that, that uh, this is although, the one I haven't had before. Although this looks different, though. Is this actually a beer? It's a type of beer. Hmm. It's a ginger beer. Oh, is that what we're trying on this Give It a Shot? I'm Andrew. And I'm Keith, and yes, it is. Less than 0.5% alcohol by volume, though. Oh, so there's a hint. There's a hint. Yeah, I guess so. A smidge. But uh, it... Uh, it, this is a smaller bottle. It's only 9.3 ounces. Oh, you know, it's funny. when we, I hadn't thought about it when you brought it over, but when we set it on the table, I was like, is this bottle really that squatty <laughs> that it's going to be like a full 12 ounce? I hadn't a, even... Okay, so nine... It's a smaller bottle. Okay. This but we get to, we've had a ginger brew before. We've had the Reed's ginger beer. Yeah, that was and, very good. Uh, now we're going to try try a new one here. Oprah was a fan of that one, I think. Oh, that's right. The Reed's ginger brew. I remember. Yes. Was on the, oh, I don't know if this, oh, Fentimans. 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 Who ate all the Fentimans? Fentimans. Oh, wait, that's Fentimans. And, yes, right. Botanically brewed and established in 1905. Traditional ginger beer. Fermented botanical ginger drink with herbal extracts. There we go. Okay. Very, very cool. It. Now, can you get this, what is it, a four pack, a six pack? This was actually a, a single like that. Oh, okay. They had a few others. They had like a, a cola and a couple other different ones, but I just grabbed this. So I'd be able to try a different ginger beer, but uh, yeah, I don't believe this was offered in like a four pack or a six pack. It okay. had the singles there. This was at cost plus again, so. And uh, what was the, uh, what was the tab at least on the single? 179. Oh, okay. For the, for a small one. For a small one. Yeah. For almost a half size. Uh, well, not quite half, but. It's 9.3. 75%. It's only, it's only 1.3 ounces. Of, well, I guess oh, I'm thinking 16 ounces. I'm thinking beer. So, yeah. okay. All yeah. right. So, a little bit, a little bit, a two thirds. Well, 12 ounces. Three quarters? There you go. A little <laughs> more than three quarters. All right. We've 9.3 fi- I finally hit a math number that you were happy with. did the math. That's right. There we go. Do the math. <laughs> Do the math. So, is this something that you'd heard of before you're even in there? I mean, other than yeah. we're always interested in different things. That so was it. You saw it there and you said we should. Give it a, a shot. shot. That's okay. Right. All right. I was perusing the tonic and beverage section. Oh, it's clear. Holy God, it's clear. <laughs> oh, that's weird. <laughs> I was not ready for that at all. Oh, wow. You know what? Actually, though, it's kind of like... It looks like, uh, it's kinda like coconut like, milk. Yeah, it does. It looks like, uh, yeah, coconut water. It looks, yeah, I'm sorry, coconut or, water. Or water yeah. that you've like, you know, squeezed a little lime into. Oh, my God. I was not ready for that. <laughs> wow. I was... Yeah, that's probably dumb, but I was not ready for that to be clear <laughs> whatsoever. I was like, a little more yellow, I thought, at least. Wow, that's that's funny. Yeah, coconut water. That's what I'm Car- gonna bring over. No, I've got a, we've got a chocolate coconut water at Trader Joe's now. It's kind of like drinking non-fat chocolate milk, but it's still good. <laughs> I would like to try that. Yeah, I don't. I I I'll, I'll reserve judgment. Uh, I was starting to make a judgment in my head. I'm gonna stop. I like it. Cause yeah, we'll we'll try it. Wow, that's uh, pretty carbonated. Or er, I take that back. That's, it was only carbonated because I was swirling it around there. Yeah. It's, it's pretty pretty light carbonation. Whew. <laughs> that smells like I just have a stick of ginger in Holy there. Holy ginger, Batman. <laughs> Holy ginger, Batman. Wow. Wow. That looks, that reminds me of like at Arbuckle when we would, if you still carry ginger pieces yeah. or you no. open that bag up and put a scoop in there and whew, the yeah. dust aromas come right at you. I mean, that's just like what that is. Yeah, that is fresh ginger aroma right wow. there. There's no two ways about it. Okay, so we've been having a lot of these tonics slash sodas slash sparkling waters lately. A little lower on the on the sugar in this one. This one's only twenty nine grams. Okay, okay. Just that little... was the mate mojito. I think was twenty eight that we had a few. Oh, was it? Few back. Was yep. that one? Oh, okay. Yeah, that I was twenty eight. Okay. The chai was like thirty two or thirty three, and then the the last one, the bitters one, was forty. Was forty? Yeah, oh, that yeah. was that was like more than a Pepsi. Yeah, it's getting into soda territory there. This could be this could be hot. Wow, this could be hot. Surprisingly not. Could be hot. Surprisingly not. Spice at the back. At the end, uh, yeah. At, at the very end is where it hits, but... Yeah, whole, as it goes down your throat, there's a, there's a warming sensation. Which is very nice. Like, the whole rest of the way through, it's actually pretty sweet. Pretty mild and, and kind of sweet. As I'm about to take a sip, the aroma's going in, and the taste that's about to hit, like, almost the aroma almost made me cough. <laughs> it was, like, almost because of that, that is so strong, is so pungent. Pungent doesn't necessarily have to be a bad word, either. It's just strong. Strength. Correct. Yeah. No, yeah. Pungent doesn't... It know. smells like pure gasoline. <laughs> it's pungent to the nostrils. They say 60% of the time this ginger beer works all the time. I don't know if it... From what I remember of the uh, the reeds, I think I like the reeds a little bit more. There's a little more depth, I think, to it. Seems like it lasts a little bit longer. Yeah. The only real good ginger flavor is kind of at the very end. Everything else yeah. is just kind of like almost like empty sugar cane sweet. sweet yeah. Like a sweetened water. 
Yeah. And then at the very end, you get that nice heat. I thought I'd yeah. get a little bit more flavor the whole way through. That's a little disappointing. I really, I, I do like the flavor at the end, but mm-hmm. it's, that's not enough. I want a little more. Yeah. It's kind of, yeah, it's kind of bland up until that finish. There wasn't a lot going on. And even that finish doesn't really go on for too long. Kind of, it stays, it's warm in there. Yeah. The finish doesn't go on for too long. I mean, you feel the kind of the warmth going down, but. Right. I think what caught me about this and I decided to get it was juniper, it said. Interesting. I didn't really get the, get too much juniper in that, if any. Maybe a slight high note of that juniper berry, but you gotta, really got to look for that. You'd have to be searching. Yeah. And like I said, yeah, just very sweet, herbal, and then the very end you get the ginger heat and some of that extra flavor. But yeah, kind of overall a little, little bit empty yeah. for the first two thirds, three quarters. Especially for 179 for 9.3 ounces. Yeah, that's uh, definitely... Definitely not going to be my first pull. Like I, I would agree with you. I think the Reeds was bit. definitely, and they and Reeds better. has different levels too. They've got a I the one we had was like the extra ginger. Brew, I think I it was. Too. Yeah, they, yeah, they do yeah. have two levels of the ginger as well. Yeah. But well, head on over to the website at aboutbeverages.com and check out our tasting notes for this ginger beer, along with where it hits on our recommendation scale. And while you're there, you might as well uh, check out the. Uh, previous ginger beer that we have tried in the past from reeds you can uh, look at that kind of compare and contrast what we thought about that one and uh, check out the drink database become a fan of us on facebook follow us on twitter have i laundry listed everything that we do no there's more you should just go find out just though. go check it out just investigate check, spend some investigate. time and uh, in return for your time being there you should also send us some information some comments some thoughts what should we be trying what are we missing out especially with the holidays coming up we really want to get all of these seasonal beverages, what you think is the best, what should we be interested in, what should we be trying, what are we missing out on. That's right. But whether we like it or not, you should give it a shot. <laughs>